Know it in your heart that healing is the will of God for you now. See, the Christian life is such that by the word of God, we don't give up on circumstances. As a believer, it is part of our culture. We never give up. We are diehard believers. When we believe, we believe for life. We believe forever. We are resilient. Listen to me, everybody. Learn to sing a victory song in the face of defeat. Yeah. When defeat is looking at you, start singing a song of victory. That's our faith. Our faith overcomes. Somebody shout, I hear you. Say it again. Healing is God's will for me now. In John chapter 9 verse 1 to 4. They said who sinned? Jesus said nobody. Nobody sinned. But that the works of God. Might be made manifest. The deeds of God. Sickness is not God's doing. Healing is God's doing. So. Feed your heart. On this truth well enough. Feed on it. So number one. Is. Healing is a sign of the redemptive work of Christ. Number two, healing is the will of God for you. Sickness can never be God's will. My body is God's target for healing. Somebody say that with me. My body, say it very loud, my body. Say it again, my body is God's target for healing. Say it again. My body is God's target for healing. Kabayada. 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 In Luke 13, 16, a woman that was bent over, whom Jesus said, lose her. Lose her, let her go. Art not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, be loosed. On this Sabbath day. Ought not this woman. She was a daughter of Abraham. You are a daughter of God. You are a son of God. Today wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice. You are loose from every infirmity. Loosed from every infirmity. Say I am a son of God. I am loosed. From every infirmity. Infirmity is not of God. I am loose from it. Right now. I thought I would hear a good amen. Art yeah. not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, be loose on this Sabbath day. So, your body, therefore, is the home of God's power. Your body is the headquarters of God's power. Your body is the home of God's power. That is, God's power dwells in your body. Please listen carefully. My body is mortal and frail. My body is mortal and frail. Romans 8, 11. If the spirit that restores from the dead dwelleth in your mortal, your frail, your body is mortal. It has not become immortal. Immortality is the last part of redemption. So this body is frail. That's why it gets sick. That's why it gets weak. That's why it gets pained. That's why it develops disease. Because it is a frail body. You are not sick because you are a bad person. Mm -mm. You are not sick because your sins are too much. No. No. Don't let any preacher put you in prison. You are sick because your body is frail. Your body is mortality. Some days you sleep healthy, you wake up sick. <laughs> Some days you sleep sick, you wake up healed. Is that true? All of a sudden, a boil comes out of your mouth. All of a sudden, a boil grows in your tongue. Ah, ah, from where you can't even talk. Oh, 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 oh. All kinds of funny. Satan is such a bastard. Very naughty fellow. You wake up in the morning, all of a sudden you can't walk well. Because of one pain here. 
So it makes you permanently to walk in a very funny way. Meanwhile, you look for the pain, you can't find it. By the end of the day, your leg is normal again. Mortality. Mortality. The body is frail. The body is mortal. Okay? Please listen carefully. So because your body is frail and mortal, that is why it becomes a candidate for God's power. Yeah. That's why it becomes a candidate for God's power. So say it with me very loud. My body is God's healing target. My body is mortal. Therefore, it becomes a candidate of God's power. I didn't hear a good amen. amen. Don't excuse why your body is sick. Don't use my body is mortal. My body is mortal to register defeat for your body. Just say, my body is mortal. is a candidate of God's power. Somebody said, well, the doctor showed me the fact. I saw the x-ray. I saw everything. Even in my body now, I can see the physical side. Hey, what about the greater facts of God's world? What about the greater facts? Don't strengthen natural facts by repeating them so often. This my sickness. This my high blood pressure. When it starts, I'll be confused. I'll just be confused. This my high blood pressure. When it starts, it brings my green headache. And then suddenly I don't know bedroom from parlor. I don't know parlor from kitchen. Everything looks the same. It is my own. Don't worry. <laughs> Very soon you even know yourself. Because it is your own. I cannot own sickness. I was not a shareholder in the manufacturing of sickness and disease. But I'm a partaker of divine nature. I am a partaker of God's power. God's power is at work in my body 247. I thought somebody said God's power is at work in my body 247. Glory to God. So healing is a sign of the redemptive work. Number two, healing is the will of God. Sickness can never be the will of God. All sickness is from the devil. Number three, my body is mortal. Therefore, it is a candidate of the healing power of God. Number four, a third part of the entire life of Jesus was about healing the sick. A third part of his entire life. Jesus had more healing miracles than any other miracle in the four gospels. Which means that if you ask for the totality of God's will on earth, healing is a third part of the will of God. If you look at the totality of God's power, a third part is healing. Healing is a miracle. Healing is a miracle. Healing is a miracle. It means healing is not a feeling. Healing is a miracle. Which means healing is not a feeling. Stop checking your feelings to see whether you are healed. Healing is a miracle. Healing is a supernatural intervention of God's power. A miracle is the power of God working in your body. You ask somebody, how are you feeling? He says, I'm feeling better. No. No. If they ask you, how are you feeling? Say, I have my miracle. I have, I'm not feeling better because I'm not following my feelings. A miracle is not feeling. How are you feeling? I have my miracle. How are you feeling in your head now? The power of God is at work in my head. I am healed. How are you feeling in your waist? The power of God is working in my waist. I am healed. What about your sight? The power of God is at work in my eyes. I can see. Not to say, uh, I am getting better. 
uh, good better best so I am good <laughs> good better best I am at good how are you now better 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 how are you better better <laughs> after one week how are you now better 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 <laughs> you never reach best you're walking by feelings we walk by faith not by sight teaching good I said teaching good. There are times the power of God is not felt in the natural. You just say it, I believe I'm healed. Why? It is written. It is written. When we prayed, the power of God went into operation. The moment we pray. The moment I say, receive now. And you say, amen. Psh, the power of God goes into operation. And within that operation is the miraculous. Within that, it's not in your feelings. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Miracle, I mean healing is a miracle, not an observation. Healing is a miracle, not an observation. There is nothing in the healing power of God... Nothing in the healing power of God that you are looking for feelings for. God's power is not feeling. Whether you feel it or not, it's at work once we pray. And please take this down. This will help you. There is nothing in the healing power of God that forbids you taking medication. I'm repeating it. Medication is not unbelief. You can use your medication and believe God's power is working. However, don't put your trust in medication. Don't put your trust in medication. Don't say because you believe God you throw away your medication. Amen. In 1 Corinthians 12, 9, he calls it gifts of healings. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Put it up. To another faith by the same spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit. In 1 Corinthians 12, 28, he calls it working of miracles. 12, 28. And God has set some in the church, first apostles, second really prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Look at verse 30 of the same chapter. Have all the gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret miracles, the working of miracles. A miracle is simply means the power of God is the power of God is active. In John 14, 12. John chapter 14, verse number 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than this shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So healing is God's work. Healing is God's work. Healing is God's work. As a believer in the name of Jesus, I receive healing. Can I hear you say, I receive healing? I receive. Say very loud, I receive healing. I receive. Say, healing is mine now. I, I didn't hear powerful, amen. amen. In the name of Jesus, at the right hand of God, I have healing. And sometimes you keep speaking healing for days before it manifests. The name of Jesus is mine. The name of Jesus belongs to me. Healing in the name of Jesus is mine. You know, when it's crucial, shut your mind. Bypass your mind and keep speaking. Sometimes, faith knows what to say. Sometimes, you don't have to listen. Your mind is suggesting things, tell you to shut up. Speak what you know. Don't speak what you're thinking. Speak what you know. Bypass your mind. Make your mind a barbarian. When your mind is telling you how the doctor says that it will degenerate from stage one to stage two within one week. Then when stage two happens, your head and your body will be shaking like this. 
When your mind is imagining how you'll be shaking like that so that you can start practicing in your mind how to walk without people seeing it. The moment your mind is trying to do that, bypass your mind. Again, mananga, koroto, soke, nemengle, nema, lebrada, gagalaba. You have rendered your mind. Huh? You have rendered your mind. You have rendered your mind totally inoperative. You have made your mind to become stupid because nobody is listening to it. So it will shut up. Then when you are an angle in you say nothing is degenerating in my body. Every part of my body is healthy, strong, and well. I am not going to depreciate in any form. Jesus paid for this body and the power of God is at work in this body. I'll be strong and healthy until I fulfill God's purpose for my life on the earth. No deficiency. Only efficiency. Somebody shout, I hear you. Somebody shout, I hear you. We stand in faith together. A miracle is not feeling. A miracle is what you believe God for. Say with me, I believe in miracles. I didn't hear you. Can I hear you say it intentionally five times? One, two, go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now say, I receive a miracle now. In Jesus name. The power of God is working in my body right now. I rebuke sickle cell anemia. I don't know who is that person that has been struggling with sickle cell anemia and has been threatening you and you are beginning to be afraid of dying any moment now. That sickle cell anemia is rebuked and healing flows into your body right now. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Mashataladaba. I receive a miracle right now. What about you?